This program is brought to you by Express Employment Professionals, respecting people, impacting business. Located in Durango, serving the Four Corners area. The history of the Southern Ute Indian tribe lives again. The Southern Ute Museum and Cultural Center in Ignacio is now opened under the auspice of the Tribal Council. The museum originally opened in 2011 and was operated by a nonprofit organization. The nonprofit went bankrupt last spring, and in May, the tribe took over ownership and management of the facility. During the transition, artifacts that were on loan from other museums, like the Colorado History Museum and the Smithsonian Institution, were returned. Cases were empty, and the building seemed to be all but abandoned. Today, under the direction of museum director Linda Baker, the historical and cultural exhibits are reappearing, and the public is invited to see the reborn museum during an end-of-summer Indian market scheduled for Friday and Saturday of Labor Day weekend. Baker says the work to restore the museum has involved five full-time staffers who cleaned the building from top to bottom, inventoried all the artifacts, repaired or replaced all the electronic and interactive displays, and began cleaning and reinstalling exhibits. The whole purpose of the museum, even with the original people that supported it, was to provide a venue for the younger people and even, um, you know, parents and uh, even grandparents, a place that the tribal membership can re be reminded of who they are and where they come from. So especially for the uh, younger people, we want to make it a place where they can come in here and look at something and learn something relevant about the tribe in addition to learning about current events. In addition to its permanent displays, the museum has a gallery for traveling exhibits. If you missed it at Fort Lewis College, you can see the Center of Southwest Studies Mountain Lion exhibit that explores the relationships between the elusive wildcat and the humans that share its environment. Baker hopes to attract visitors with a variety of special events, starting with a new end-of-summer artist market during the Labor Day weekend. The event coincides with the Iron Horse Motorcycle Rally in Ignacio. In the meantime, the museum is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., seven days a week with extended hours on Thursday. For more information about exhibits and hours of operation, visit the Southern Ute Indian Tribe's website at southernute-nsn.gov.